In this video, I wanted to provide an introduction to problem set three, which is going to be based around the concepts of what it means to do statistical hypothesis testing and also how we select between different models. So the concept of model selection. And the practical element here is hopefully going to be quite fun. The practical element here is looking at the various factors which essentially predict the outcome of the presidential elections in each of the US states in 2012. And the idea here is that I've, I've actually compo compiled a list of a variety of factors which are quite interesting um, for us to investigate. So I've got factors like what's the gender ratio in each state, um, what is the sort of measure of religiosity in each state um, across different religions as well. Um, I've also included measures of GDP and GDP per capita across state and um, other things. I've got variables like debt. I've also got some measures of um, dependency on Medicaid and, and a whole range of other factors which I don't really have time to go into right now. But I encourage you to look at the data which I provide in the link below this video and you can look at all the various factors and investigate their impact on presidential elections. And obviously this particular practical is going to be focused around these two um, learning outcomes, hypothesis testing and model selection. Um, but at the end of it, I also include a freestyle section as I've tried to for the majority of these problem sets where I investigate, why I sort of invite you rather to investigate the various factors which actually influence the presidential election and to come up with your own model which you think best describes the various factors which influence the presidential election. So in that sense, we're kind of doing a little bit of what Nate Silver did when he predicted the outcome of the presidential election um, correctly in each of the states in the US um, in 2012. And he goes on to describe in his book, which is excellent, I very much recommend you read it, The Signal and The Noise. So I very much encourage you to undertake this freestyle component um, and because I think it's going to be interesting for you to go ahead and build a model on your own. Finally there is going to be a theoretical section and a theoretical section here again is going to be concerned with hypothesis testing and model selection and we're also going to talk about some of the benefits of logging the pendant variable and we're going to investigate how that is actually realized. Finally as with all of these problem sets, I'm including my written answers to these given problems. So after you're done filling in your problem set, I invite you to check off your answers against those answers which I've written. And of course, if you have any sort of um, issue, any dispute with any of the answers I've written, I really encourage you to get in touch. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it and um, please leave me your feedback.